Oh, welcome back to another episode of the Stanley Parable. Let's go about doing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he I entered the door on his on head. right. Yeah. This I was not the correct chose. way to the meeting room, yeah, and Stanley was. knew it perfectly well. No. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just hey. to admire it. It's the adventure line. Can I get to it? I don't go through the adventure line. Uh, uh. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps yeah. too majestic, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I did? Yeah, and I did. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Sure did. Yet there was not a single uh. person here either. Oh no. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to ah. go up to his boss's <laughs> office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let's go to a staircase, up then. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Anyone in here yet? To be rich. Is it a crime? To commit crimes? Isn't it rich? What a life would be to have to pick just one. <gasps> It changed, the text changed. Okay. And... Let me change here. Uh, oh! Found the next computer. So computers change. Oh. What's in here? Should we try uh, again? Once more. Wait. Is it broken? Okay. So, never moves. Okay. Nice to know. So, we find another input screen. Here's the door. Just go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Let's see if anything has changed down here. Nope. Let's go there. Ready for loading screen. Loading screen in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go! I just knew it, you know? It's just, it's just a thing I know. You know? You know? <laughs> you know. Okay. So. Back here. Lights turned off. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, no. Although this passageway had the word Escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I will. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward I and am. willingly confront his death. Yeah. Bye bye. Did I die? I don't know if I died. I don't know if I died, man. I don't know, man. I didn't die. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm so stuck. I'm so stuck. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no, 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 no whatsoever. No, 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 no. Stanley can't see the bigger <coughs> picture. He doesn't know the real story. No. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. No. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the no. eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Fair well, Stanley. Oh. Yeah. Uh, bye bye. Huh? Farewell, Stanley. 
cried the narrator, <gasps> as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. You my wife? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated <gasps> as the machine crushed every bone in his body, nope. killing him instantly. No. Oh. Hi. It's the Stanley parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? I don't even know, man. When every path you can walk hey. has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Nature findings. Oh, this is all the things in the game, and this is the office layout. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Stanley's computer. This is amazing. Filling cabinets. Office components. I did a thing. The office. The button sound. A selection of sounds used throughout the game. When buttons are pressed, each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Okay. Uh, okay. Directed and signed and stuff like that. Uh, can we see what the that awesome sound? No, we can't. Maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Nice. Which way should I go? Should I stay or should I go? War zone. Early in development we designed an ending where Stanley would end up in a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters. It was not our intention. Tron. That. Tron? You thought about using Tron? That would be fucking awesome. The Stanley Parable. This is a screenshot of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. The point of the standing actually is to win. The point of is to lose. Stuff. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same uh, image. Same. Does it say the image? Maybe it. Is, maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? Green light. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Pro Parable to a green light wolf process of approving games to Steam. The green light page had only a series of cry up cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. More English, fewer index, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. This game is amazing. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. Wow, we had an initial plan to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a few selection of those emails. Well, I can't fucking see. Okay. Okay, now. I have a burning question, for instance. I can't really read it that well. Okay. Nice. I can't really read it, though. The lounge. An early version of the lounge. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Okay, nice. The cargo lift. The second version is f is functional the same as what is in the final game, but we want it to look more like the place where cargo was actually stored. Yeah. 
the cargo lift. The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. They had a lot of things thought about in, throughout this game. Maintenance layout. The flow of hallway following the first two doors was important to get right, since players will replay them so many times. We discussed a number of designs, but ultimately it was the seamless version that won out. Nice. Meeting room. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Escape menu. For a long time we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few people realized that there was where they what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. Yeah. Sending multiple. Ascending went through many in iterations. This room represents the fourth version of the ending. And we thought it was complete, but decided to ban it and change it again shortly before launch. Sending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the end, ending known as the sending. It was originally cut and emerged with another part of the game. Game. I haven't been there yet, so. Yeah. Sending levers. These levers were originally a part of the sending. The player would pull a lever. And the narrator would describe what color they had pulled. Nice. Nice. I, I don't fucking know where I'm going, man. Have I been this way? Yeah, I have. Okay. Have I been this way? I don't think I have, man. Trailers. We ran four major season trailers over the course of the game's development. It's meant to convey something about the spirit of the game. This is the first one. Released in May 2012, it features a series of broken runes and the voice of the narrator informing viewers that he is preparing a new version of the standard parable. Okay. Nice. Now. I see stuff in there, yo. I don't know if I should. Okay, let's just. There's too many ways to go, you know. There's an exit there, and I don't want to go to the exit, you know. Too much to see. The freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it existed in the beta. Beta. Countdown desk, one of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Okay, so you actually can win the countdown ending. I think you can. Freedom ending. This was the first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. So much to see. Let's go this way first. No, let's read this. Let's do it. What is this? Boss's office. Screens from the development of the boss's office. So this is the first. This is the second. This is the last. Okay, I so saw we're back here. So let's go this way. We shouldn't end the game yet. Not, f not yet. Okay. Employee's lounge. Underground. An earlier version of the underground portion of the game. And the region outtakes. Okay. Kevin Brighton, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. Okay. I don't want to be in here then, but nice, nice. I love, I love, I love this fucking game. Now, where's some stuff with that office clock? Okay. Like how much time they spend on making all this. We haven't been up here, you know, but. Monitor room elevator. 
for a time, the elevator in the money's room could go up or down, with freedom above and countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down, and placed two endings together instead. Countdown room. An early version of the countdown room. Nice. What is this? Game design mock-up. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent David the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from this mock-up is still the same. Okay, we haven't checked in here though. Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. First, second. Okay, so they just added a few things to make it look better, you know? But let's exit the game. If we have seen everything that I used to see, Stanley Parable. Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Okay, so... Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? No, it's black. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Because it's black. <laughs> you can turn on the light. To me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I died. It's okay, it's okay to die, you know. <laughs> okay, so I guess No, I remember this ending. <sighs> this is the ending where it doesn't reload, so begin the game again. Damn it. Okay. Okay, that's that's okay. We're back. But just so uh, thank you for watching so far and I'll see you next video. Bye.